Here we is. Here we is with our all access people. First one of the year. Hey everybody. Mm. How you doing? Happy 2023. 2023. Listen. 2020 happened. I was like, let's do it. 2020 is going to be the best year at and then 2021. 2022. Mm-hmm. 2023, baby. Let's see. Um, uh, listen, it's either going to be really awful yep. for or for me. I'm thinking it's either going to go really bad or it's going to be really good. And I'm praying it's going to be really good. Uh, but you never know. You never know. You no know, one. There's more people that can die in my family, so. Could yeah, and you're like, I don't know, man. Anything like good starts to happen for you, mm-hmm. it like offsets. Yeah, you got to bounce it. You know, I yeah. mean. Yin-yang. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, it's very much like. <laughs> Like reap what you sow. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. Oh, well, that's not that same thing as yin yang. You know, reaping what you sow is more biblical. More biblical. It's yeah. like karma. Well, oh, that's you know. not biblical. Reap what you sow. Mm. Reap what you sow. Yeah, karma is a little more involved in reaping what you sow. <sighs> reap what you sow. Yeah. So what goes uh, around comes around. All right. So how am I? Are you saying that the deaths of my family are because I've done something wrong? Is that what you're implying? No. Reaping what I sow? No. Oh, no. No. Sounds no. like that's what you're saying. Uh. Uh. That's that's weird. Mm, yeah, I know. That's weird. That is weird. That, Why would you do that? Why would it, you say it, that? I mean, it says the sins of the son fall upon the I father. I think you're reading that backwards I'm again. I'm pretty sure. Mm. No. I mean, I know I got this. I'm dyslexic okay. and everything. Okay. Things kind of <laughs> you're jumbled theologically around. dyslexic. I'm theologically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm TD. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, you had a good Christmas? It was a good Christmas. How was New Year's? Was you was that fine? It was fine. It was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. I, uh, I, we how, have, how was your Christmas? Well, besides, you know, everybody being dead, that's, you know, kind of a bummer. Of them, you know, kind mm. of sad. Um, so we, we had, uh, so like New Year's, we don't really do much. Like Jen cooks like some stuff and we hang out, but like we all go to bed. Before, mm. like, we don't like, yeah, know, we don't care. Um, except my kids, my kids all stayed up late and did all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, that's fun. Uh, we went to bed. Yeah, um, we were celebrating. Uh, the kids. Earls were doing 15 year anniversary. Oh yeah, that was fun. Look at that. All right, where'd you guys go? Uh, the Lewis, across from the Arcada. Okay, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. How was it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like 70s themed. Oh, okay. Uh, it's cute. The people that you know don't remember the seventies weren't didn't live in the seventies. Wanted to go to the seventies thing. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like it was named after. It's fun. Named after uh, the first mayor of St. Charles. The first mayor of St. Charles was a Lewis. James Lewis. Look at that. Okay. James Lewis. I learned. This sounds like the most boring. Why would they? First of all, why would they name a party place after the first mayor? Of, I don't know. Okay. But I learned because you know they had a, a mural. They had. His Picture on the wall. A mural or a painting? Painting. No. Okay. It's not even that good. No, no. no. Okay. I Portrait. Even, por- not even that. Oh. <clears throat> Sketch. There you go. Okay. And like, you know, you could read the plaque. Okay. So I got to learn a little bit. All right. Look at that. 1870. Okay. He came from New York. All right. So uh, that was your thing. Instead of celebrating New Year's Eve, the Earls made it all about themselves. That sounds about right. Okay. Well, I, I, yeah. that is their anniversary. Yeah. yeah. They were so okay, but yeah. that's not it's not your anniversary. Why do you why can't well, you so, just celebrate but, New Year's? You don't have to go and celebrate them. Well, yeah, because I don't care about New Year's. Just like you, I would have been in bed by nine, ten. Yeah, yeah. but instead, so what kept me out? When did, was, you, when, did when did you go to bed? Hmm. Late. Yeah, I would. Uh, you mean early? Early. I don't know. You gotta. You know. <laughs> early morning. Early morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the. I feel like there's an accusation or oh, maybe a uh, sense of... There is no accusations. There's just awareness. Maybe, I there's mean, it feels awareness. like more someone's a little jealous. No, no. It's okay. First I mean, of all, do you, do, you, do you think I want to go to a place where there's dancing? No, but here's what I think I, you, you want. Yeah. You want just to be invited so you can say no. Yes, I do. I do like that. See, that's, I do like the, that that's the jealous. Yeah. Because it's like, it's the bittersweet part, right? Like, I don't want to go. I want to feel included. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go, and I feel bad turning it down. But I, but, which is weird because you don't want to go anyway. No, I know, but but that's but, but you want only the invite, a little bit. I, but yeah, you want I to want be all of it. I want the whole package. <laughs> that's what I like, man. What do you want me to say? Anywho, mm. so okay, listen. Um, you know, we get emails from you know, time to time. People from time to time, uh, we get lots of emails, and uh, I thought we'd start with. Uh, I thought we would do this email that we got from a guy named Will. All right. All right, I'm gonna try to read it. With your cough. I got Don't it. Don't cough. Can you see if you can get through this without coughing once? Stop it. So try it. 
No, hold on. Let me get, yeah, get a let me drink. Get my water. Your smart water. It's what we had here. Oh my gosh! It's all you're drinking. Deb's. Yep. Thanks, Hydration Deb. station water. But okay. All right. What's up, Jimmy and Joe? I hope all is well. I'm a long part time listener in that I really enjoy the times I can break away and sit out by the fire, enjoy a cigar and D D podcast. Hey, Will. Thanks. <laughs> oh, didn't yeah, make it. Do it. I could feel it on the first line. Could not handle it. Uh, I was recently listening to the episode titled Recovering Discernment. A question that popped in my head that I think would merit a discussion is when you hear believers praying for discernment on whether to do A, B, or other options and wanting to stay in God's will. And while I do not believe praying for discernment is wrong by any means, I do feel Christians use this almost as an excuse to not do anything until they get a clear answer from God. To me, that feels more like an excuse to not do anything for God. So I guess, long story long, when praying for discernment on a decision, how long is too long before you're disobeying God by not doing anything? Love to hear some thoughts on that. Thanks. Well, All righty. Will, by the way. By the way. Nicely put together. You had your little, <clears throat> hey, appreciate you. Yep. You got straight to the point. Yep. You gave us context. Yep. It wasn't too long, but it was yep. long enough to unpack it. Yep. That's how you do it, everybody. That's, everyone just go ahead and take there note. There you go. There you go. I liked it. I liked it, Will. And you're never going to hear the answer to this. No. No. This is for our, this is for our no, people. I'll, I'll send him a private link. No, he can't get yeah. this. No. Yeah. He, no. No. Well, you, you know what I'll do? I'm going to act like, uh, I'll be like the Riddler, and I'll send him little clues about Ooh. how he can try to find it, and it'll take him like a year. I have to follow all the clues and yeah. solve some puzzles. Since he's only part-time, so, yeah. so what? Maybe if you were full-time, instead of like just winging it, yeah. just barely, barely even trying. Goodness. Um <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, this is a thing, right? People talk about this a lot, right? Praying for God's will. But do you do that? Do you send, like, because, you know, do you send them yeah. a link? Oh, good. I, I'm glad you do that. Yeah. If if we answer somebody's question on a, all yeah, access. That's really good. I'm glad you I do that. I give them, a, a, I, can, I can give it to them in a couple of different ways. So, yeah, make sure that they have a way to listen to it. You give them a free subscription, don't you? No, do not. No. You better not. Do not. You no, better gotta, dude, not. we got to pay for everything. I know. Do you know how much MailChimp costs and we don't even use it? I know. So, why don't we get rid of it? We need to get rid of it. That's or we need to start using it. Or just get rid of and, it. And the expert just told me I really need to use it. Uh, I know. We I got to make some changes. All right. So people talk about this, right? People talk about praying for God's will. You've heard it, right? Yep. And uh, and we actually, we, you know, we probably talk that way ourselves at times, I'm sure. Um, people are like, oh, man, I don't really know what to do in this situation. Uh, you know, I've got, uh, should I ask this person out on a date? But I don't know. Mm. They seem they're Christian, but I don't know. Oh, what's God's will for me here? Is it God's will that I ask them out on a date or not? Uh, that's how they talk about it. Or should I take this job? Or should I go to this particular school? Um, you know, should I? Well, what other questions would people ask, right? I mean, it's, it's, sometimes it's financial. Yeah. 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 Well, like you said, job, school, we, we, marriage. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, oh, marriage. I mean, even, even. So this, I think, kind of goes with vocation, but sometimes there's, you know, should I be going into full-time ministry, full-time yeah, sure. vocational ministry, mm -hmm. or or should I be hitting the mission field? Should I... Yeah. Uh, oh, should I serve at the at the church in this particular exactly, way? Exactly, yeah. Praying for God's will about that. Hey, man, would you be willing to be a greeter? Or would you be willing to serve in the Journey Kids? Oh, you know what? Uh, 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 give me some time. I'll get back to you. Oh, okay. And I'm, what I'm are you go waiting for? You got to <laughs> check your calendar, or what do you got to do? <clears throat> no, I'm going to pray. Okay, that's good. I'm going like to pray, that. and... Mm -hmm. You know, typically it praying for strength to do the work. Uh, I'm going to pray for direction that this is where the Lord wants me to serve. Oh, okay. So you're you've got you're waiting for God to tell you if He exactly. wants you to serve your so, local church. So that the, exactly. Well, yeah. Not okay. if I know He wants me to. Okay. But so is it is hospitality probably? A good you should, maybe you should just try is it. Is a good you use just of the try gift it that God and then me? figure it out. Are you sure you're not asking? Try it. Are you sure you're not you asking me it. like should I be doing it. announcements or uh, maybe like an, unfortunately announcements uh -huh. we have to really limit that to people who can you know string together coherent sentences without rambling okay oh, so unfortunately that's so, not you oh oh but so no. i'm good enough yeah. to yes. uh, ramble when i'm With, being hospitable yes yes because that, that's not the ramble, place for rambling but not but yeah. not be able to share my thoughts no nope. do not want you sharing I, your thoughts as an announcer no oh no you don't share your thoughts you now, share the announcements now, but hold on as i'm i'm you here from the lord now right you know, is mm -hmm. as i pray yeah. maybe the direction is should i be mm -hmm. preaching no. Did you need me to well, do... you could certainly pray about that. Okay. But the problem is, is the last time I talked to you, uh, you said you believed that Christians should worship on Saturday. So mm. uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say you're probably not 
theologically prepared to uh, assume a place in the pulpit at this particular church. Now, my question is this. What happens if we're both praying, Mm -hmm. and yet the Lord's telling me one thing, Yeah, and you don't seem to recognize his voice yet? Yeah, I think the problem is... What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, I can't even hear the... the, If you made a sound effect, I couldn't even hear No, no, I didn't. I I just went to the main screen. All right. So... um, so people talk like this, right? They talk about the will of God. Like, oh, I got to discover what the will of God is for my life. And mm. there are people that promote this kind of a thing, right? Uh, William Blackaby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a big part of, uh, of his thing. And that, God was used it? that and accomplished some great things. Yeah, what's it called? Knowing God? No, seeking God, desiring God. No, Le- it's not desiring God. I think it's knowing God. No, knowing God is J.I. Packer. Oh, you're right. Yeah. All right, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Uh, all right. Uh, is it William? William Blackaby? Blackaby. Uh, William Blackaby, God. <laughs> Experiencing God. Experiencing yeah, God. Right. Oh, I knew it was his own thing. Something there. That dude made millions of dollars off of that. Yeah. I was yeah was, I'm looking to see if you have it. No, I thought it's not. Really? No, no. I mean, I had it years ago because I checked it out. Um, but that was a big thing is like, how do you discover God's will? I'm going to find it. I'm positive it's here. And so like, this is kind of rooted in the idea, though, that you can be in or out of God's will yeah. when it's not something set forth in Scripture. It's like, oh, you can be out of the will of God. Like, oh, well, I, you know, I bought, uh, I mean, I'm trying to think. I, I'm not good at this because I don't think this way. I know. That's what's but like, hard. Oh, you know what? I, I decided to, um, to start going to this church. Yeah. I'm going to start going to this church. Uh, but I, really what I found out is that was not God's will for me. I was out of the will of God until I started going to this other church. and uh, Or like I took this job and it wasn't God's will for me to take this job. And, and like, I was out of God's will for a period of time. When it isn't. I've, I mean, I've heard that one. Yeah. 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 Now, here's the thing. It might be outside of the will of God for you to take a particular job or go to a particular church. Mm-hmm. If that job is immoral or if that church is heretical. These are just two ex- simple examples. Then you are outside of the will of God because yeah. the scripture tells you don't do that. Don't do that. But, yeah. I, but taking a job or going to a church, I mean, there are good churches, there are bad churches. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember hearing when I was leaving a church that I was outside the will of God. No, I bet, uh, you, I bet you heard that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, I'm like, eh, pretty sure God's there too. Yeah. I'm going to hear about him. I'm going to get to know him more. I will not get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think what, 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 what is helpful is for us to, and we've talked about this before on the podcast, but it's important for us to talk about the will of God in better ways than we sort of casually throw that word around. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you read, I think, good systematic theologies, uh, the, the way a lot of them break it down is they talk about God's will in two ways. They talk about God's will of purpose and God's will of precept. Ooh, all uh, right. Yeah, can you define so that? God's, so you read God's will of purpose, and that would be <laughs> God's sovereign will. It is what God has foreordained to come to pass, right? Now, so in the Reformed tradition, we believe that God has foreordained all things that come to pass. So there's always a sense in which you can say, well, whatever is happening is a part of the decree or God's will. Yeah, but that does not remove like secondary causes or the responsibility of man or anything like that. There's mystery there. But some people who aren't reformed would say like, well, I don't believe God, you know, predestines all things, but some things and those things are, you know, what God that, that you could call that God's will. So what God has predestined to happen yeah. clearly is his will. He, he, this is something that he is bringing about. Yeah. And we got like, you know, examples in scriptures of that, but, um, like a, a really good example is in Acts chapter two, men of Israel hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan mm. and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. So here it, it's all together. We all know that the death of Jesus Christ was predestined, yep. decreed. Yep. It was the will of the Lord to crush him. It says it in Isaiah. Yep. So that's God's will. It's his sovereign will. And yet people are responsible for what they did. They did a bad thing yep. and they're judged for it. Yep. So it all comes together. God's will, it's his will of purpose, what he has purposed to take place. So you don't know what that is until after it happens. Right, you, you you don't know like oh yeah. well, it was you know it was the will of the Lord for my father to die the day after 
my sister's funeral. Yeah. Like that was the Lord's will. Yeah. It just so happens that that's an, you know, his passing was a much easier experience for us than because he died in his sleep peacefully. Yeah. I mean, it was like, that's the best way to go. We, my wife and I would talk about that. Like, boy, I just mm. hope, I hope he can go in his sleep, man. That would just go to sleep, like watch his shows, goes to sleep, wakes up. Jesus, what, what in the world? And he's like, no, man, what not in the world? <laughs> yeah. What a grace, right? Like super cool, man. Man. I mean, I, I didn't, I mean, I yeah, I have to find him like that. That's not the most fun thing. I know. Carrying but, Chinese food in the house and find my dad. Yeah. I mean, just so, it's just, just so weird that you were like, you were praying that he would die that way. I wasn't praying that like, I was, I was like, like hoping. And then like he, he died that way and even posed that way. He was, I wouldn't say posed, although the sheriff's department were like, <laughs> <laughs> it this really little, is. This is a little on the See, nose, you guys don't, You guys don't know what happens. So listen, if you don't know what happens, when somebody dies in your house, because I'm a pastor, so I know a lot, but, you know, like enough years in the past, right? You have, you know, uh, what, you know yeah, what you're you supposed to do. You have enough experience yeah. knowing how to throw things uh, off. How, how to, uh, you know. Arrange things. How to get things done. So, no, uh, so I actually, here, here's what happened. I don't know if I told you this. So I went downstairs, saw my dad. He was in his bed. I touched him. He was stone cold and he was in mm. rigor, right? So he was yeah. stiff. So I took a beat, you yeah, know, course, went yeah. upstairs, said, Jen, we got to talk. So I brought Jen into the next room, said, listen, he's gone. And she's like, I don't understand. I go, dad. She goes, yeah. I go, he's gone. She's like, I don't understand. I'm like, mm. he's dead. So she broke down for a minute. And then I, we got we pulled ourselves together. Then we went out. I said, kids, we got to talk. This is what happened. Grandpa went to sleep last night. Didn't wake up. He's passed away. Um, everybody was sad. Killian was busted of up. Of course. Killian was busted up. Because they, they they don't know life without Grandpa. He's always yes. been there. Yep. He's been there for yep. 18 years. Yep. So, anywho. Um, so, I actually walked. To, this is one of the ways to cope with these kinds of things is to help people think through what is happening right now. Right? So, I said, here's what we're going to do. We have to call the... We have to call 911 because we have to report that somebody has died and they have to send out the sheriff's department. They have to send out EMS because they have to confirm that, that this is a, a dead body. Um, and so they come out and then they, they will look at it. And if there are any questions, then the coroner will come out. Mm. If there aren't any questions, then the coroner will just accept the report. Right. So the sheriffs came out and uh, and the funeral home comes out. Uh, so they all come out and I know like these people. And so they go down to check it. Yeah. He's, he's sleeping hand on his head on his hand on his pillow mm. posed. And they're like, yeah, like there's a, and they, they were like, there's no sign of like, he woke up grasping for air. There's mm. no like disturbances. So it was all very peaceful. What Jimmy is trying to suggest I'm not is that it's don't. a little too perfect. What are you, is what you, what you, you are suggesting. What are you I don't know what you're talking about. It's a little about. too perfect. No, no, no Joe, Joe, if it was, Joe. If it was suspicious, they would have okay. uh, well, had wow. the corner come out. I, but but I it mean, wasn't suspicious. Th- and you're saying it's a little too Neat and clean. No, okay. I'm, I'm just it's saying. Fine. No, no, no. Joe, 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 Joe. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, I'm not saying or uh, trying to. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the word? I don't know. You say it. Hmm. I'm not trying to suggest anything. Oh, you're not. All I'm saying is I'm stating facts. Okay. I'm stating facts. What are the facts? The facts are uh, you've been praying for this, wanting this. No, it's hope, not true. Okay, no. Hoping, hoping no. for hoping it. Hoping that if hoping, he's di- that when hope, he dies. You've been hoping. He, he, I hope he dies in his sleep. <laughs> yes, yes, hoping. Yeah. Right? Not that he dies, but yeah. he dies in his so sleep. That's what for, I've been hoping. Hoping that this would ha- it yeah. would happen. If yeah, when he dies, and it's all your friends that you know because you you know you've had lots of experience around mm. you know death, just the nature of it. You've sure. built these relationships. Mm. You know, like, being able to might call them connections. Connections. You've been yeah. building these yeah. connections, and he's you know I mean he's he's found in a way no one else was there. Well, no, no, everybody was there. Well, no, 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 but not in the room. No. Like, you found him. No, we don't have any, like, ring cams downstairs. No. Like, we were sure not to do that. Yeah. I you mean, think, not that we were intentionally yeah. avoiding think, that. No, I just no saying, video like, evidence. Yeah. And he's found in mm-hmm. such a weirdly peaceful state. Yeah. Well, right? that's not weird. I mean, well, no, I mean, well, well, you, you were hoping for it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And then, like, your your connections, your mm. friends come. Well, not friends. And they help know, validate, you know, like... Yeah. What you they, what, yeah, they, what, they what, confirm they confirm what, what you true. told them. What it, no, what they see based upon just what they yeah they don't see yeah. you know anything else. And then your your other connection, the coroner, uh, the coroner, the coroner, the coroner. Yeah. The uh, I, he, I don't know. I don't know the coroner. What's his they, name? They didn't even come by. They just called and they just said, "Hey, the cops are like, here's what it looks like." Uh huh. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, you, need you to talk, come out. Yeah, you talk to the the funeral director guy who knows him well, and and no, the so, cops the cops called so, the coroner. So I mean, I'm just saying it's it's. Yeah. 
it all really worked out well for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, Jimmy. My dad dying was great. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm, I hope everybody I'm, realizes that no, no, you no. are a bad friend. No, I am not. You are a bad I friend. I, I you not. won't even give me a moment to breathe, and because uh, yeah, my dad's not anymore, and um, and just survive and just deal with and mourn. And you got to make jokes. No, no, it's no. not funny, it, dude. No, I don't know. I don't like I, jokes. I don't know what you show. All I'm saying is, um, I, I am happy that he went peacefully mm -hmm. in the manner that you wanted. <laughs> You almost said designed is what you almost <laughs> said. You almost said. <laughs> no, it is. It is. You guys, you guys know. Honestly, like, what a great blessing though. Like to go in your sleep. Like, for as much as like your father has suffered and your mother and your grandma, like the suffering that honestly, they went through. Honestly. It like, was even Michelle. It was just a week, but she was. Exactly. In that coma. The, it was the just, blessing whoa. that he had in that. Like, honestly, you're right. Yeah, I would it, want that for any of our it loved was, ones. It was really, it was really sweet. That part of it was actually really sweet. Um, because yeah, I either want to go like that or I want to go out in a gunfight. Like those are the two ways I want to go like, <laughs> like some guy's trying to break into my house mm. and like, we have to shoot it out and then, uh, I get him, but he gets me like, I want to go out that way. Yeah. Or, oh, and he still dies with you. Oh yeah. He's got to die. He's got to die. Oh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not dying on myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, but like, I, I save the day. Mm. But then I, I go out in the <laughs> of glory. Yeah. yeah, yeah like and, and, and then what's your, what's your final line to Jen? What's your final line? You got to think of the final line. Oh. See, Jen, mm. I don't fail at everything. <laughs> <laughs> you said, you said I never finish anything I start. <laughs> all right, so what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, will of God. All right, so there's the will of purpose, mm. right? There's the, this is all Al access. We can talk. I know. That's do, why, this is, what, what, we, this is what we do. And it's been a while. Yeah, I know. We got, a, we got a lot of pent up. Yeah, we got a lot of we got pent, pent up, up banter. Yeah, I had a bad end of year. Jimmy had a, quote, bad end of year. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, his uh his like uh, your your Bitcoin return was like not as high as you expected. Mm -hmm, something like that. <laughs> and Ethereum. <laughs> and I'm still going with that prayer of Sheba. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so there's will of purpose. The Bible mm. talks about the will of God that way. Yep. Right. And then the Bible also talks about God's will of precept. Uh some people call it the will of duty. Okay. Um, that is what God has prescribed that is what god has called us to do his will is his law what he calls us to do his will of purpose is always done he ensures that it's his sovereign will he does not force his will of precept to always be done yeah he commands us and then we either obey or don't obey lots of scripture references you know, just look up will of god and your th thesaurus not thesaurus well google accordance uh, yeah <laughs> concordance. concordance gee whiz it's been so long i'm so used to just who using who uses a concordance okay well, do people I, still use it i'm okay. sure they are i'm sure there are some old timers that pull off a nasb or strong's concordance off their shelf uh, i mean i still you, you know what you're right i still have it yeah but I, I i find it easier just yeah you just search log us. yeah you just you log us or a bible website you can literally search the yeah. word um but yeah open up your concordance and uh and check it out but um but but for example, um, 1 Thessalonians five eighteen. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Well, to give thanks in all circumstances, that's the will of that's God. That's the will of God. There you go. Yep. Right. Um, 1 Thessalonians four three. Uh, for this is the will of God, your sanctification, Ooh. that you abstain from sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. right, so very so it very goes, clear. So the will of God, your sanctification. So you play a role in sanctification, by the way. Yep. Uh, and then very specifically, what he's talking about is, like, you know. Self control and abstain from sexual immorality. Yeah. Um, so the the will of God is think you know Ten Commandments, the Sermon on the Mount, you know all mm, the commands, mm. all the imperatives. Yep. Yep. So when people are say like, well, you know, what's God's will? You can literally point to the Bible and go, that's God's will, right here. Yeah. You want if you really want to know what God wants you to do, read your Bible because chock full of imperatives, commands, like hey. You know, principles, precepts. Uh, let's go. And I think I think this guy's right that it is it is sometimes used as a way of avoiding action because they're like, well, I'm waiting to understand what God does. God really want me to do this or not? Um, the Bible doesn't specifically tell me what to do in this situation, yep. so I can't say this is God's will for me in the Bible. And I don't know if it is God's sovereign will for me because it hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. So they're stuck in the middle and people think there's a third middle will of God. Yeah. And I'm going to say, I think Jimmy's going to say, no, that that there isn't a third will. 
There are the two senses in which we talk about the will of God. When you're in those situations, though, and you don't know what to do because it's not written down in the Bible, although oftentimes it is and you're just not looking mm, carefully enough, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you should know, like, oh, I shouldn't buy that. It's not God's will for me to buy a Tesla because you can't afford it, ding yeah. dong. Okay. No, no, but the Lord wants me to take care of the earth. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so that's the other thing. Buy a bike. So that, but that, that's, yeah, there yeah. you go. But that's the other thing. Some people uh, can yep. fall into justifying not doing something, but mm-hmm. then others will justify doing what they wanted. Oh, yeah. They'll find an aspect of God's will. Oh, I'm supposed, he wants us to be good stewards of creation. Yeah. Oh, that's God's will. That's God's will. Yeah. You know what it also is? Uh, paying your bills. That's God's will. That's good. That, uh, that's a good debts. one. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, you, 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 or like yeah, you know I'm going to do this ministry thing and, and and not provide and work right yeah, and we've seen that we've seen that a lot a lot I mean, just just at, 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 in our years together as ministry yep we've known we've seen a bunch of people yeah. who are you know love the Lord and really want to get going and they'll 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 take a hard run at it but ultimately they wind up putting their family last. oh and we have to tell them like hey you know yeah uh, get a job get a job yeah yeah, yeah. Stop get this. a job pay the bills yeah. this you. Do it at night. Even if like a business owner knows, right? Like, hey, I love my business. I got to do what I have to do. Yep. Even if I have to work into the evening. So if if that's the thing, mm-hmm. you still got, you got to provide and then do right. that thing on the side until it gets to the place where you can. Okay. So let's talk about this. There are though, and people are going to say, so what do I do when I don't know what to do? The Bible does not tell me. I have two equally valid options. Mm. If I, you know, if I were to choose one or the other, the Bible doesn't say Either one of these are dangerous. Both of these seem to be fine. Mm-hmm. How do I know which one to do? What's God's will for me? What do you say to them? Would, How do you help them figure out whether to go to this college or that college after all things biblical have been settled? Whether to to ask this person on a date mm-hmm. in maybe this could become a marriage, right? Yeah. Like that kind of yeah. thing. Uh, How do they know? Like, what should they, what resources do they have? What, how do you encourage them to make a decision? Well, okay. If you, if, you know, let's just say for schools or whatever else, <clears throat> it's got the program, all that stuff. You've done all your research, both of them, career, equal. all that, everything's equal, right? <clears throat> okay. Uh, which one do you want to go to? Don't know. I need, I need the Lord, I need the Lord to tell me because they're both, they're both good. Yeah. That's what I know, but if you, if you had to pick one, I can't. Why? Because they're both they're both equally good. I'm just confused. I don't know which one to do. I know which which one do you want to go to? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I, I'm confused. I mean, some of the this one has a uh, a better uh, chick to guy ratio, right? So mm-hmm. I want more options to find a okay. wife. Okay. Uh, but on the other hand, this one has uh, better uh, independent studies oh. that I want to do for my major. So well, I, I don't really know which one I want to do. Yeah, major. Why you're going to school for your major? Go. Okay, so that's what you want to tell me to do. Yeah. Okay. So you help them use reason, right? Uh, yeah. Or some basic. I'm assuming. Principles. My assumption is they've already been praying. They prayed. They've narrowed it down. And they got a couple bo- of options. A couple options. They're both biblical. And so what you did there was you used something called the brain. <laughs> God gave us yeah. a brain. Yep. To reason things out. Yeah. And go like, okay, listen, you, you know, so, so listen, some people live in a state of paralysis, like decision paralysis, where mm-hmm. they're like, I just can't make a decision. Listen, that's fear. You're letting fear just rule you. Look at look at it all. And also this so there's two things that are happening there. One, you're using your brain yeah. and you're showing them how to use your brain. Yeah. What's more important to you? Like what's gonna take precedence? Is it is it finding a woman or is it getting your degree? Yeah. Which by the way, it's gonna help you find a woman. But anyways, yeah. Um so what is it that's more important? So you're using your brain, but they're also in that moment getting wisdom from counsel. Yeah. They're yeah, getting there another person yep. to speak into it. If you really don't know what to do and you're at a loss because you're like, I, I just, I, I, the Bible doesn't tell me what to do here and I'm afraid to make a decision, then there's wisdom in the counsel of a multitude of friends. Talk to somebody. Yeah. Find somebody sort smarter than you. Yep. Somebody who has experience, somebody that you trust. And someone that knows you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody that knows you well enough to say like, no, you're hiding from something here. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do that. So you really want to go to that party school yeah. for ministry? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, I, I, but I know they need Jesus. I, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. You know, but yeah. you know, you've struggled in the past yeah. with partying. Uh, why? Feel why? Like maybe so you feel a sense for full-time vocation ministry and yet you're gravitating towards the university of Wisconsin in Madison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've heard that there's a party or two there. Huh. Uh, I'm not huh. sure. <laughs> you can also smoke in their bars. I think there. 
fucking uh, last time I was up there in Wisconsin, went to a cigar bar and they had an actual bar. Oh, nice cigar bar. Oh, okay. It's amazing. Okay, so if you if you're trying to discern what you should do, uh, you use God's word. Yep. Because there you there you find His will written down. Uh, you pray for wisdom. Yep. You seek wisdom from others. Yep. And use your brain. Yep. And then you go. You're if you're afraid I'm going to be out of God's will. You're not out of God's will. You, unless you violate Scripture, you're not out of God's will. Correct. Well, what if I go to this college and it's not a good fit? Wasn't that outside of God's will? No, no. That you, clearly you, was God's will for yeah. you to be there for a short period of time. You've learned something from that. He gave you somewhere. an experience. Yeah, learn you know from it. Guess what? God's will is for us to fail a hundred times so that we can succeed twice, mm. right? Like that's like anybody who's successful with anything is going to try a, th- a bunch of stuff and yep. it's not going to work. Yep. Look at Jimmy. Uh-oh. Jimmy was a, just an absolute failure for the vast majority of his life. And virtually every decision he's ever made was huh. an utter failure. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Huh. I feel like not you're. True. I feel like you're, I feel like you're projecting. <laughs> I might be projecting a little I think bit. You're projecting. Jen's last words to you. Yeah. What, why are her, her last words to me? Oh, my future last yeah. words. Yeah, her yeah. future last words to me. Um, <laughs> no, but like, no, but anybody, but Jimmy will tell you as, as, a, as somebody who's, you know, running a business and you're doing all these things, like you have to make a lot of attempts at things. Oh, yeah. Don't fail. I mean, how many. Some's going to work, some's not. How many relationships are going to fail, uh, you know, or contracts are going to n- not come to fruition or, yep. or whatever it is. And so, yeah, your failure is going to wind up being a part of God's will. Now you're going to say even my moral failure. Well, there's a sense in the terms of the will of decree. Yes. Uh, yeah. He allowed you to make that mistake as a part of his ultimate plan to bring about certain things and to mm. teach us and all of that. Mm. And, and what, what I've heard from a lot of Christians that I know that are walking with the Lord is they look back and they can look back on severe suffering and pain that they went through yeah. and say, I can see how that was God's will for me Yep, because it's, it's allowed me to, you know, um, learn this and, and grow in this way. And I've seen people say like, wow, you know, I was a, you know, I was abusing drugs and I was abusing people and God allowed me to go down that path um, and I'm responsible for it. But he allowed me to do that. And it was a part of the plan because now I'm able to help or do whatever. Right. Well, no, I mean, Michelle and I, you know, often um, when we're talking with other couples that are struggling. Right. Um, and I think I shared this on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Might have been the first podcast. Yeah. But I mean, the first three years of our marriage was rough. Yeah. I, you know, we seriously considered packing it in and being done. Uh, and the, but we look back on those three years and we're thankful, like we're thankful for what we went through yeah. and what we were allowed to go through because for us, I mean, uh, you know, our marriage is extremely strong. Yeah. Like we're, we, we praise God, uh, for the marriage that we have and the family that we have and the life that we have. And we look back and go, you know what? I'm sure we, God would have taken us to wherever we're, you know, we're going to get to where we're at now in whatever way God has allowed. Yeah. Right. But we look at it, they go, he allowed that, and it really strengthened us now to know mm-hmm. whatever we're going through, we're fine. You know, And that comes with the ability to understand what God's will is. Mm. Will of purpose, will of precept. Yep. I mean, I think that's, listen, don't talk about them outside of God's will if it's not a biblical issue. Yep. Don't do that. Just, um, you know, it's not if it's not d- determined by scripture, mm-hmm. pray it up, talk it out. Yeah. Set it all up so it's like perfectly on the nose, looks, you know, legit. What, what are you talking about? I don't know. I was trying oh, to like make yeah, a reference. Call back. It didn't yeah. work. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Whatever, dude. I don't appreciate it. I don't really? Appreci- I don't appreciate you right now. I'm in a Why? vulnerable state and you're oh. like making me very uncomfortable. Really? I'm, mm-hmm. s- I'm sorry, Joe. You're in my feelings, dude. I got him. I got him. You, what, you, you got two. I do. I do. Annoyance. And anger. And I, got, I have. I guess I, I toggle between annoyance and mild amusement. There you go. A, those are those are my things. Well, we'd love to hear your thoughts. You can follow us online on Instagram, and Twitter at Doc and Devo, no, 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 no. Uh, or on Facebook slash Doctor and Motion. No, 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 no. You can. Oh, wait, come on, Doctor Motion. <laughs> <laughs> come on, dude. I can't. I'm gonna cough. Stop. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Fresh Pot everybody at Thursday blog post and video content over the website. Why don't you tell them they know they support the podcast? You I know. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting us and uh, and tell your friends. Invite your friends to come on and to do the thing. Sign up for all access. Uh, we can do more stuff. Here comes a great 2023, y'all. Hey, bye. bye.